really glides on smoothly on the lips. It's very neutral. There's no tugging. It's really easy to use. Right there. Hey guys, it's Bianca O'Malley. I am a makeup artist and I also run Move Official on Instagram. My aesthetic is very natural, Korean makeup looks, and very wearable makeup looks for the everyday woman. So it's really perfect with the new Alana multi-purpose color creams because this is something that is very appropriate for women on the go. I'm going to show you three different ways to apply this on your eyes, cheeks, and lips using three different tools as well. Okay, so I'm going to start my eye makeup now. I'm first to slowly pat this all over my lids. For this look, I want to create a very neutral look using all the colors of the palette. It's very neutral, but would also complement the blush and the lipstick later on. Okay, so this is how the light looks like. So I'm going to deepen this color with something darker, and I'm going to use the flat tip of this brush. So I'm still using one brush and dipping it into glaze. I'm going to start darkening the outer corners of my eyes. So this is my outer V. Just to really give depth and definition to this look. You can actually use your fingers to easily blend out the edges. It's really easy to use. So now what I'm going to do is, without adding any more product on the brush, I'm going to slightly smudge what's left on the brush on my lower lash line. Just to give it that light wash of color. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush to define the outer corners even more. done with my right eye, I'm going to finish my other eye off camera as well as add liner and mascara because I heard that Alana is actually coming up with something new. Okay, so I'm back. I'm done with my eyes. So as you can see, I have liner and mascara on already. So after eyes, now I'm going to do the blush part of this look. So of course, I'm still going to use the same palette. And I have a sponge here. But before we use the sponge and the blush, I'm first going to wet it. So I have here the Alana Stay Fresh setting spray. So I'm first going to spritz a few of this onto the sponge. So it's kind of damp now. So I'm going to use the light for my blush. This is also the first shade I used on my eyes earlier. So first with the flat side of the sponge, I'm going to press it in. Let's start with little product and then let's build as we go along. So I'm first going to smile and then start onto the um, fatty portion of the cheek. So this is it. I'm going to stamp it on and then just blend outwards. So I really recommend patting the product on the face so it looks more even. Okay, so I'm adding my last layer of Delight as my blush. Right there. So this is one side with the blush on and this is the other side without the blush. So as you can see, this is the difference. This is my blush done, but there's this trend going on about the drunk blush look wherein the blush is connected to the nose area. So I'm going to show that as well. Of course, it's the same tool, my sponge, and also the shade Delight of the Multipurpose Color Creams. I'm still doing the same technique still, just tapping the sponge onto the product like this. And then I'm going to start onto the center of my nose and just really pat it on the sides to connect the blush. So this is the drunk blush look. A while ago, I just did the normal blush where I just applied it on the cheeks itself. Now I applied it onto the nose area as well to give it a very flushed, kind of drunk look. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now we're done with the eyes and the cheeks. To finish is the lips. So, of course, I'm still using the multi-purpose color creams. 
But before applying this, I want to tell you guys that I actually prepped my lips with Elana Lip Scrub. Because aside from the scrub itself, it has moisturizing properties. That's why my lips are prepped and ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to take a shade Hope. I'm going to use my ring finger on my right hand. Get a decent amount of product, like so. And just start on my lower lip, on the middle, and spread outwards. It really glides on smoothly on the lips. There's no tugging. It's not sticky as well. Okay, so this is the final lip look. 